Hey everyone, look at them lovely little angel fish in there, in this very interesting 180 degree aquarium fish tank. This is an aqua mode 900. It's almost vintage. This was like made around, I don't know, 2009. Although the manuals um, that came out got 2005 and I'm not sure if that's with the company or, or what, but they're Australian. So this has kind of come from Australia. And uh, I must say, this is really clear looking through this glass. It's the most clear of, of any tanks I've had. Uh, quite interesting. Um, and it comes with its cabinet as well, semicircle there. Uh, that's all good. You've got the lid now being, you know, this is like 11 years old or something now. 12 years even. Um, you know, it's still intact. Someone's had to glue the lid on a bit, the back here. Uh, the buttons for the lights have gone because the light inside uh, kind of rusted away or something, so I was told. Uh, but it's fine because inside you've got this interesting brackets, which, um, you know, this framework, should I say, you know, that you can, f this, this LED light fits on fine. So it's a great LED light I've got now in there. Um, and I've got an internal filter, but if you want, you can put at each, each end, you can put an external canister. So this is just uh, the start. I'm, I've got a video that's in process of being made that talks about all the differences between the different types of tanks you get. And this is just one of the far unique type. And this one, uh, sorry about the dust on top. It's been getting very dusty recently. Um, this also has a cabinet. This is a German one. This is Cayman. A little, little feeding flap there. Uh, it's got a little removable lid at the back here for, for well, it's like an on-off switch or something. And then there's a bit we can remove and you can put in the external canister filters, which I've got. Got it all up there. Lovely curved design. <clears throat> and a hinge lid again this lid is very heavy which is rather strange having such a heavy lid i don't know what's in there uh t5 light i've i've taped in and glued in a led one for night time but the, the, the heavy lid is good it's soundproof it really does sort of keep the sound in keeps the heat in but it is very heavy which is the heaviest lid i've come across really strange so there you go, just a couple of the tanks I've got at the moment. There's my tank with an internal Fluval U2. I'm going to be upgrading to Fluval 307. Uh, inside here, it does come with media. We've got the sponges already in there and there. And you've also got the media in these trays. But they're all in little plastic bags, so they need to be unpacked and stuff. There's only a little thin phosphate thing there and then some carbon. Since I originally saw this product, I don't remember seeing that it had the phosphate in. Maybe that's just a 307, or maybe that's a new addition they've started doing. And then... Also in here, you've got the, those are bio rings, quite porous, which is good. And then below that, we've got like the filter. So the first one it hits will be this coarse, quite coarse one there. It's not that coarse, it's a little bit fine. Then we've got the polishing pad. Sorry, that goes over here, which is the outlet. And that's where the water comes in, down here, over those. 
Okay. To see more videos, I'll look, put them in the description. And also go to my website. Uh, the link's in the description as well. Thank you.